All right, time to go get our 100,000 subscriber. Treat yourself present. You ready, Nima? Roll it. Big yawns. So as a lot of y'all may know who are subscribed to this channel, I play a lot of golf. I haven't played in like five weeks because of Rona, but I also hit 100,000 subscribers during the Rona time. And I closed on a house during the Rona time. So the, literally the only thing that changed was I didn't have enough energy for golf, but now I do, we're back. And the reason I'm bringing up golf is because as I was approaching the 100,000 mark, I knew I was gonna hit it. So as I was approaching, I was like thinking of the things that I could get myself. And I was talking, and I was talking to my brother, he was like, you should get some, you should get some like limited edition shoes like get your shoe game up because i had also been mentioning that i want to get my shoe game on and i was like hell yeah that's a good idea you know it's a, it's a perfect treat yourself because i would never spend a certain amount of money for a shoe unless it was some type of major milestone like this and i had my eyes and my heart and my mind dead set on getting the original off-white prestos i was thinking about literally the all-white off-white prestos but as i thought about it more and more i was like i'd be nervous to wear them so paying so much for them i would only wear them on very limited occasions and on top of that wearing them on limited occasions mean that i couldn't like i couldn't enjoy the fruits of my labor with my gift so basically all of that to say is i decided that i wanted to get new clubs and i decided i'm gonna go balls to the walls with the new clubs and i'm gonna go like fully custom like fitted tailored so that is what we are doing today and we are gonna be on the way to golf galaxy where i have a one-on-one -on -one appointment with someone who's gonna custom fit mizuno mb20 clubs these clubs are like they're the holy grail of feel when it comes to playing golf and i play every weekend so i was like i might as well get something where i'm where i'm gonna enjoy i'm gonna enjoy the present to myself so i'm fucking excited and i'm ready to drop 1500 dollars today transition all right we made it golf galaxy there's a golfer's paradise up in here and then cortez's nah those are golf shoes do you have a preferred shaft? I don't. I have no. I have no clue on shafts or anything. All my clubs have been off of the off the rack. Basically. Okay. I'm just like, let me just get custom fitted, just so that way I can get the experience. Hopefully, it helps, right? <laughs> <laughs> it never helps enough. How far are you going with your seven? Seven around one fifty-five, one seventy-five, correct? Mm -hmm. Have you ever used a launch monitor before? I've never used a launch monitor. So give us all your data, like club speed, ball yeah. speed. Yeah. You got nothing. Super cold. So if it flex more, yeah, you could lose lose accuracy, lose, yeah, yeah, lose accuracy. Launch angle is 14 degrees on average, and the average spin of 5,000. Peak height's averaging around 22. Um, yeah, I like to see it close to 30 if we get there. Okay. And then also your descent angle around 45 to 50, so we that little extra stopping power. Okay. On the brand. Why aren't you play right uh, they're just uh, Taylor Mace. They're old ones, actually. Burners, burner twos. Okay. It's been a while, but I've always like, I don't want to pay a thousand dollars for a new set, <laughs> and I didn't want to buy like a, a lower quality set. But I was like, you know what? This is a milestone. Let me just go and s spend money. <laughs> so now, going to take a shaft. That's your ninety. So it's slightly lighter. Okay. Still stiff foot. And that's gonna be from the shaft? Yeah. I didn't realize that shaft makes the. Oh, yeah, it's like a huge difference. Does it? It's like the engine in a car, you know? 195 on the roll. Peak high did jump up on average 26 to 22. Like at the, like at the very top of yeah, the arc, right? Top of the apex. Okay. They feel good though. I've honestly never hit a blade before. First time? Yeah, first time. Yeah, I use these. I have a combo set. I go with the MMCs four through seven. Yeah, and then eight through pitching wedge those. Yeah. So we're back to that kind of the same way we were in the first shaft. Okay. So around that 105 yeah. territory. Wow. Yeah, all three of those shots 
for there were very consistent. Yeah, this one feels this one feels the best out of all of them. So far, I mean, 94, 94, 93 on puppet speed. Ball speed's very consistent, 128, 128, 126.7. Yeah. Yeah, that one so far is the highest of cake launch and mm -hmm. descent angle. Let's get the yellow and then we'll go back to the KBS. Okay. Just to see, just to make sure. I feel like what's the name in Independence Day when he has to take off his mask? Put your mask back on! <laughs> Put your mask back on! <laughs> That's what I feel like right now. It's hard to breathe. That's an order, Marine! That's an order, Marine! I can't breathe! And after this one, I didn't want to do the same shaft, but an extra spirit. Okay. We can have a little less torque, so hopefully we can get that dispersion a little closer. Gotcha, I see. Who knew that all these things make a difference, right? Like buying a suit off the rag versus buying one custom fitted. Back to the key of your shaft. So my fitting is done. Ended up going with these shafts right here. Oh, I can't see get my shadow. I feel like I'm in the weekend music video like this. I can't feel a damn thing. I'm going to pick grips now. So that's the mid-sized version, so that's a little bit bigger than standard. I think I kind of like this wrap. That one? Yeah. Yeah, mid-size? Yeah, the mid-size, mid -size. for sure. Mm -hmm. 105, stiff flex, three through pitching wedge. Okay. One degree flat in the line goal. You have the CPT wrap mid-size grips, and you do have options on shipping. You can either ship it to the store or to your house. We'll ship it here. That's cool. I saw a commercial where they has a magnet. Uh, stick to the stick to the cart. I think the V5. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. This is my surviving gift to me. My surviving gift was a little more expensive, unfortunately. A little bit. It didn't cost any different if you bought it off the rack. So if I got the P790s, I would have spent like 1600 right now. How much are those? Four. He asked a question to close the door. Yeah, $13.99. $13.85.59. I guess the guy that was fitting me for the clubs yeah. told the guy at the door that it was like my 100,000 like, gift to myself. He's like, what's your channel? I'll subscribe. <laughs> He's like, all right, man, I got you. I just subscribed. People take you more seriously when you tell them that you have 100,000 subscribers, yeah. I mean, there's a lot with 100,000, but no one really sticks it out enough to like get to that point. Because you got to go through Gotta convince a hundred thousand people. Two thousand years later. Hey, the shit came in, famo. Boom. I went to go pick up my clubs. I don't even know what the angle looks like right now. I went to go pick up my clubs, which I ordered four weeks ago. Of course, I go to pick up my clubs. I'm like, I'm just gonna walk in and walk out. I spent three hundred dollars just picking up my clubs. New bag, but main attraction. Oh yeah, shit. Check out these fucking things right here. It only cost me $1,400 plus a $250 bag plus $50 balls. So it only cost me $1,700, but your boy finally got a new set of motherfucking golf clubs. And these things are sexy AF fam. Let me tell you, look at that. Mm. Y'all about to see me break it open for the first time. Got these like, ooh, they're really tacky. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. I can't wait to go shoot 105 with these bad boys. Look, look, we're about to open this for the first time right here on camera, just for y'all. I only bought them because y'all got me to 100,000, so it's only right that I open them with y'all. Ooh, yeah, damn, look at that. See my reflection in these shits. Yo, these motherfuckers right here are sexy. If someone told me Miranda Kerr and lingerie or these clubs right here, obviously I'm picking Miranda Kerr, but these are fucking photo finish second right here. It's like Christmas. Christmas morning. The only problem with it being Christmas morning is that I bought my own fucking presents and they weren't cheap. But yeah, I'm so happy that these clubs are in. This video has been like four weeks in the making because I've been waiting for these clubs. I've had the, I had the beginning portion of this video edited already for like mad long. But yeah, I guess I'll go hit them. I'll go play a couple rounds with them and let y'all know what's up. Let y'all know how shitty I am with them because they're super hard clubs to hit. But y'all saw me smashing that shit when I was trying them out. She. But anyway, that's it, folks. I appreciate your time. Like I always say, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other, love and care for some Mizuno blades, and I'll see y'all on the next video. Peace.
I'll keep drinking champagne, feeling no pain till early morning. And dining and dancing with every pretty girl I can find. Having a fling with a pretty young thing till early morning. Knowing tomorrow I'll wake up with you on my mind.